Today we let her rip on every flavor of kettle chip. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Since you asked, kettle chips are thicker and sturdier than the average potato chip. Not a sponsor. And it's not only because the slices of potato are cut thicker. They're fried by being submerged in a large vat of oil at lower temperatures and stirred for a longer period of time. Instead of moving through an assembly line fryer at a high heat, that makes these kettle chips golden, crunchy, little thick boys. So they're not made in a big special teapot, tall and stout? No, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Link. But the Kettle brand founder was actually gonna call them pot chips and then decided that it didn't sound right. And that not only is a good joke, it's also a true fact. Huh, it's more of a true fact than a good joke. Pot chips, get it? I mean, yeah, I got it. <laughs> All right, Kettle Chip does sound better than pot chips, but which Kettle brand potato chip flavor tastes better than all the rest? Today we find out, it's time for Gut Check. Kettle Brand Potato Chips Edition. We're trying every available flavor from Kettle Brand Chips, all 25. Whoop, whoop. We're gonna both rate each chip on a scale of one to 100 based on our initial gut reaction. And after tasting them all, the top four chips are gonna be tasted and discussed with even more scrutiny. And I still have my third grade scoring visual aid to help me yes. along the way. I, I'm growing very attached to this we, thing. We all are. <laughs> the absolute best kettle chip will be declared the chip we ship, Stevie. Let's put the kettle to the metal. Gentlemen, I have great news for today's gut check because your palate cleanser will be none other than your favorite Topo Chico. Mm. Thank you. And we're gonna jump right into it with Kettle Brand's classic chip flavors, starting with regular unsalted. Yes. I'm gonna get the whole thing. Yeah, whole chip. I mean, that's a good solid potato Crunching, chip. Crunching, not as salty as I would have hoped. 77. Um, um, I'm gonna give it a 55. Sea wow. salt. Oh, okay. Maybe this is what I was looking for. That's better. Mm -hmm. 82. Yeah, definitely, once you get that salt on it. 71. Sea salt and vinegar. Oh my. Oh. All right. Boom! Might be a perfect chip. That gives you a hit. 96. Boom! Might be the biggest score I've ever given anything. That is good. Easily an 88. Less fat sea salt. Yeah, okay. Really? <laughs> Just as crunchy as all the other ones. The crunch is not the problem. It's kind of that taste. It's I still it's better than not good. 51. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um uh, I would say 53. Really not that much different than the original. Honey Dijon. Ooh. Oh, interesting. A rig. Oh, wee. That is nice. I like that. Mmm. It's almost doing too much for me. 75? No, man, I'm gonna give that an 80. Okay. I mean, that's pretty close to 75. You <laughs> seem like, you're the one, hey, you, do you need to look at my chart? No, when I. If you don't like something, it should go down this way. The chart is in here. Sour cream and onion. Oh yeah, you know what? Okay, sour cream. It's a lot more subtle than the Lay sour cream and onion. It's got a nice aftertaste. It's a solid chip, hmm. but I mean, I, I, it's a seventy-two for me. Seventy-five. Farm stand ranch. Huh, farm stand. Never had this. Oh. They're bringing the ranch flavor at the farm stand. It really hit my knot, Man, my nasal. Man, the farm stand. What y'all doing at the farm? Not standing around. <laughs> You're putting ranch on them chips. 82. Yeah. 167. 16-7? 67. 16-7. <laughs> Bourbon barbecue. Bourbon barbecue? That's what she said. Uh, Too much liquid smoke, 48. Um, mm, 30. Backyard. Uh, no, I cleanse, man. Oh, After that's that, crap. Oh, that's a cleansing time. Uh. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That was year a fail. Sixteen seven. Backyard BBQ. Uh oh. Backyard BBQ. This is more traditional barbecue. It's not bad. Sixty one. Um. Uh, Forty five. I. You don't like it. I. Yeah. That's but just I, a little bit. Korean BBQ. Oh. I'm okay. listening. Uh huh. Uh huh. Could I eat this in my backyard? Yeah. Ooh, that's, there's a, 
There's an umami and, and in the there. interesting wow. thing happening there. Ooh, that's a, that's got to be an acquired that type of thing here. You just can't you just can't walk face first into that one. Sixty fifty. New York cheddar. Uh, well, I got a little Topo Chico back. Okay. Wash. I like cheese. I like New York. It's not overpowering. Eighty. You could you could eat a lot of these. Yeah, I could. On a Saturday night. Uh, it's good. I'm gonna give it a seventy. It's in the mix. Parmesan garlic. Oh, watch out. That's a little fluffier to you? A fluffy? Airier. Maybe I just got a weird chip. No, I think mine's a little fluffier. Like it has a double layer? No. Like a mattress. Not that much. I like that. That is nice. Maybe not good for the breath. 73. 75. Jalapeno. Okay, I know I like these. I just got an airy one. Sometimes the kettle, like a mattress, it kind of separates it, like a foam, like an air memory foam. Not too spicy. I like the subtlety of it. I want more spice than that. I'm disappointed right now. It's just enough spice to lead to more. Sixty nine. Sixty seven. Peppercini. Huh. Is that like the little thing in the pizza box? Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. Okay. This is what I wanted. This is the flavor pack that I wanted. Flavor from, pack? Like this pack in there from the jalapeno. This is really 89. Here's what's interesting about it. It's It's got a pepper kick and then it's got a pickle kick. The pepper and the pickle. Pepper and the pickle brings My that favorite up. favorite novel. Um, that's gonna, I'm gonna get that to a 70. And that concludes our classic category. Ooh. So we need a sip okay. sip. All right. Take okay. one now. Gather yourself. This is a this is a good day for me. Yeah. I feel like I'm not gonna be sick later. And I love chips and the crunch. The chips and the crunch. Well, let's dive into our next That's my category. My favorite novel. Which is our crinkle cut and organic chip category. Starting with crinkle cut dill peckle. Pickle. <laughs> peckle. <laughs> dill peckle. Give me that packle. I would like a peckle, please. Ah. Oh, that's almost too crunchy. I like that flavor, though. I like a peckle. Kind of gimmicky to me, but I'll still give it a 60. 85. Whoa! I really like that. Crinkle cut habanero lime. Oh, oh okay. Oh, I'm big. <laughs> mm. You could build a freaking house with these things. They are so crunchy. They are stout. Like a siding. Like hmm. a Spanish-style roof. This one has the most spice of anything we've tasted so far. There's a kind of complexity to this. But the potato really comes through as well. It's interesting. That's fun. What was it? Habanero lime. And I'm mm -hmm. tasting the different layers. It was like a little, Woo! I'm still on the journey. Uh, I gotta give that a, a surprising 71. I'm gonna give that a solid 79. I didn't think I'd like it. Crinkle cut salt and fresh ground pepper. The salt and pepper. That was a foldy. Mine was folded too. What do you think it is about the way that it's all coordinated? They haven't given us any foldies yet because I'd get too excited about the folds. The pepper is strong in this one. I'm a fan of the black pepper, but I'm realizing that it doesn't work. It doesn't work? I actually don't think it works that much. You, I wouldn't want to eat more than four of these. Just so, is a, you're a four chip man. I'm a 49 for this, yeah. I like it better than that. It's not great, but I'll give it a 65. Crinkle cut truffle and sea salt. Oh, now we're getting fancy. Truffle? Like pigs digging for these? Oh, that's strong. Mm. Your breath is gonna be kicking with this. That's a really fancy chip, y'all. Whoa! It's a great taste, but again, how many of these could you eat? More than four. <laughs> maybe, maybe nine? That's not kinda how, that's not really how I think about chips. I'm gonna give it a score I've never given on a gut check ever. 59. You going on record? I don't think I've ever given a 59. You know, I think this one's... It's just a number I didn't really think I about think this is. I think this is actually great. Right here. 78. Crinkle cut Himalayan salt. Oh, this all is the way be, from the Himalaya. Almost got your finger that time. Basic. Can you taste the altitude? Just tastes a little bit like a gimmick to me. They've oversold this one, 30. <laughs> it's not that it tastes bad, it's just that you're... 
you're, you're reacting you're, to the marketing. You feel like you want to be in the Himalayas, and you're 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 down here in the foothills. It's a good chip, sixty six. Organic country style BBQ. They got lots of types of barbecue. I'm not country a barbecue. Style. I'm not a barbecue chip guy. Well, because barbecue flavoring is trying to represent something that mm -hmm. is already a thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's fakey. It is fakey. Um, I do like country style. Though. I'm going to sink it down to 33. I, I'm going to give it a 52. Organic salt and fresh ground pepper. Organic salt and fresh ground pepper. Oh, it's a foley again. I got a foley. They coordinated the foldies. I can taste that organic salt. It's not It's not been fertilized. It tastes, it tastes healthier. No pesticides on those salt plants. And the pepper is better. Salt comes from a plant. The pepper is a lot better. Um, Isn't it weird that pepper comes 58. from a plant and salt is just a mineral? But we mix them together and act like nobody says anything about it? I wish you wouldn't have told me that. Mm. Now that's all I'm going to think about, because you're supposed to group them. I like that one. 68. Organic sea salt. I mean, I can't taste the organs. Can you? I can taste the organic part of the ocean. I believe it's the part of the ocean right outside of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. I'm gonna give Just that on a, the outskirts of it. A 56. It's it's nice. A, it's, it's solid, but I'm not gonna like write letters about it. 63. Organic salt and vinegar. Okay, here we go. My particular chip was disappointing. The chip is not as crunchy as the original salt and vinegar, which no, I gave it 96. The flavor is on point, but you're right. The chip is weird. What yeah. happened to the chip? 81? Um, <clears throat> 60. Organic jalapeno. Okay, we didn't even like the real one of this. Flavor is better than the regular jalapeno. What is happening in my mouth? 78. Um, 66. And that concludes oh. that category. Please Topo Chico it up if you would like. Did you just use Topo Chico as a verb? Yes. Our final category is the limited edition kettle brand chip category. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Starting with apple cider vinegar. Oh, what? interesting. Ooh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm um, missing a balancing flavor. I like it, but I'm missing... It's, it's very authentic. Something to offset it a little bit. To apple vinegar, but maybe there's not enough salt. 61. Yeah, it, it just wouldn't really do it. I, I, get, I gotta give it a 61. <laughs> I'm 61. And that concludes the limited edition kettle brand chip category. Oh, that you was it. tasted all the kettle brand chips, and your scores will be tabulated so we can take a look at our top four chips. Do your thing, guys. We'll just sit here and eat more chips. Now, we may be pretty good at eating food, but you know what? The mythical kitcheneers are good at making food and having a good time while they do it. You can watch them recreate dishes from hundreds of years ago or learn how to transform freezer food into a tasty treat. It's all happening over at the Mythical Kitchen channel. Go over there and tell them we sent you. <laughs> hey. Now. Okay, guys. According to you, the top four flavors of Kettle Brand chips in no particular order are sea salt, sea salt and vinegar, Pepperoni and Honey Dijon. Oh, look at uh, that lineup. I like this, 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 the color surprise profile. You? Surprise you? Got a little brown, a little blue, a little green, a little orange. Let, let's start here with, with the Ridge. Oh, I got a Foldy again. Did we taste this really early on? Mm-hmm. Classic. It's good, but... Oh, I got a Foldy. I got a Foldy as well. That's I better. don't know how you get any better than that, but... And... This was kind of an acquired taste for me. I do want to acknowledge that some people just don't like the taste of vinegar, but, but then if they keep eating it- Are those people it, here? Nope. Because- I nope. don't see them. If you keep eating it, you'll start liking it. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose a foldy. Now, I love to put these on a pizza every once in a while. These, oh, these really? Peppers. You, you know, like- Oh, the peppers. You, Papa John's will throw these into your pizza box without mm -hmm. even, even asking about it. This was a huge surprise for me. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Because I thought the cheese was going to make it into this one. Like, it, I don't know it, it barely happened. missed, I bet. I don't even know what happened. 
That's a really, I, I don't know which one I like better now that I'm having this again. I know, this one came out of nowhere, man. It's not even my thing. And then you've got uh, Honey Dijon. You said that pretty fancy. Very sweet. Sweet. The sweetest. I'm trying to get a foldy, but I can't. I really like the Honey Dijon, but. It's more of a second bag. It's coming a little, it's trying a little too hard for me. Yeah. This one, this should never be the first bag you buy. Well, let's pick the third place. But you should always buy two bags. So third, you, you what, what gets third place? The Dijon or the sea salt? I mean, I feel I, like. I kind of like the Dijon. I feel it's, like it's something it's different. It's interesting. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. Let's get rid boring. of that. Get rid of that. So we're and putting then, this up as the third place. Yes. Oh, look, it, it blends right in. So now it comes down to what I almost gave a perfect score, a 96, was something I didn't even know existed. But I'm so glad it does. It's got a nice kick to it. It's not as much of a kick in the pants as the vinegar. Both of these are so great because mm. with such a high crunch capacity, that's contained in these chips. You're ready for a big crunch kick. You might as well get a flavor kick that matches or surpasses it. There, there's no denying that this has the bigger flavor kick of the two. And it's a flavor kick that starts strong and finishes stronger. And I am just in love with it. I'm telling you, let's call this the dark horse that almost made it. But yeah, I agree with you, man. Give it the, give it the speech. There you go. The official chip that we ship the best kettle brand flavor that there is, salt and vinegar! Woo! <laughs> yeah. I, I feel good about that, and I think everyone is gonna agree, except for those that we're not gonna listen to. Right, that's how this works. This is not a democracy. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hey, Rhett and Link. My name is Laird from San Diego. I have cerebral palsy, and I love watching your show. It is time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Thank you, Laird. We love for that being you your love mythical best. Watching our show. Click the top link to find out if we can guess the chip from the sound of the crunch in Stevie's mouth and good mythical more. ASMR? Kinda. Alright, and also to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. It kinda looks like a monster ball. Can I eat it? Have you ever eaten the raft? Mmm. Don't eat it.